At this point, you had yourself already been diagnosed once with lung cancer. Yes. I, my first diagnosis with lung cancer was in 2001. When I took the job on Housewives, uh, I made him promise he wouldn't kill me off because I'd just gotten killed on all these various shows. I'd gotten killed on the, another soap opera where I got hung, murdered, you know. And I was tired of being killed. So I, I made him promise not to kill me. And, and he did it in public. He shouldn't have, but he did. So he was stuck with it. So I'm sure there were times he wanted to kill me, both personally and professionally. Um, so uh, he came to me and said, how would you think if we followed your storyline, your cancer line, and killed you off at the end of it? And I said, okay, provided you do not soap opera the thing up. It's got to be real. If you don't do it real, I simply will not do the words. And they have been very cooperative. And we worked together on, well, what would happen right now? Um, our biggest battle was, how was I going to die? I didn't want to do one of those terms of endearment, you know, sweet smile, turn face to left and drop dead. That's bullshit. You know, so we didn't do that. I hope. I want to wait and see what happens on the edit. Um, but uh, I think it'll be okay. My goal in all of it was to use that experience when the public finally gets to see it and use it for my own purposes to again promote awareness of lung cancer as, as a disease. It's like there's an ad right now for that just do it thing where the gal says, just say it. Just say the word, cancer. We don't even say it, unless of course it's breast cancer. And I'm so sick of every cheeky young thing having her breasts taken off and getting new ones that were even better than the ones she started with, you know? Oh, look at me, I'm all set, I got my new breasts. Well, I can't get new lungs, and it ticks me off. So that's my own personal vendetta.